Hello everybody, Cern the Dog here. There may be many reasons why you are subscribed to me, whether it's Find the Dochets 2, Find the Chomix, or perhaps it's Jato in Minecraft. Well, if it is Jato in Minecraft, you may have noticed that I haven't uploaded a Jato in Minecraft video for 4 months. But that is about to change, because after 4 months, Tor is officially no more. Yes, that's right, guys. I finally got ahead to finishing Tor, while also doing a few sm other changes. For example, adding rolls for me and always, and also doing bug fixes. Today alone, I fixed like three bugs. For example, I removed the section from talk because I couldn't get it to work, and I also fixed a few glitches involving the TPs. Before we begin, I want to give a shout out to everybody who has better tower, even I'm not sure if all of them are legit, but going down, we have D3K, uh, uh, Underscore, Foxy Wolf, I Met, Paragon Cringe, Rub Tree, Grass, Super D, and that's it. And also, anybody who just overall played on the server because of my videos, you're cool. So yeah, let's go over to Tor, which after 4 months is finally finished. This tower took some time. So, we begin over with this section. What you're meant to do is you're meant to, like, do these wraps, but you also can literally just climb. Like, my friend was doing this, and he told me you can literally just climb up. Like, it's a bit annoying, but it's doable. Then we go over here, and you have this no-momentum four-block jump. It's a bit difficult, but I mean, it's a challenging tower. So, yeah, just go across here. This tower is challenging. Difficulty in Jato. I don't know if it is in Minecraft, but there's definitely some challenge. So yeah, go up here. And here we have our first um and I'm, I'm pretty sure the only in this tower um beat block uh or like moving section. There was supposed to be more, but I wanted to get this tower out today and it's not like it even adds much, so just yeah. It's a bit hard, but it's possible. I'll just try to get it done to prove it. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, let's go. Oh, and I fail. Here we have some ladder wraps thingies. Another jump like this. We have some drip leaf, and we go over into a teleporter. Here we have some kill bricks. What happened to this campfire? What the heck? Campfire. Who did the campfire do? Okay. We go over here. Let me go over to this section, where you have to go like this, go all the way to the end, and now we have here some fence gameplay. Okay, here we have this little section, and let's go up here and here. Here I have some fence jumps. From here we go over to here. And then here. And we're on floor tree. So floor tree starts off with this long ice path. Ooh, usual door joined the game. So yeah, as I said, I want to give a shout out to anybody who played my server because of these videos and to anybody who just randomly found it on Minehub because there's a few people who just joined. They have no idea what's going on, but they play it anyways because they think the cool parkour. Okay, let's go. Oh. Okay, here we have some more fence gameplay. It goes here. More, even more fence gameplay. Here you have this thing here. Where you have to shift here, and then we go like this. Here you have a fence of gap trap or neo, as they call them in Minecraft. Which are possible. These towers are 100% certified possible. Here you have this section. Just follow the campfires. Try to see where you're going because there can be a quite a lot of smoke. So yeah, just go here. Let's go. Even more campfires. You might need to regen a bit. But yeah. Oh, he left. This is so sad. So yeah, we jump over to here. And here we have even more fences. Don't worry, this tower doesn't spam as much fences as Tower of Stress. Don't worry. There are actually more than just fence gameplay in this tower. 
So yeah, just go here, some fence gameplay. From here, here we now go over to here, where we have this fence staircase. Trust me, this tower isn't just fences. See, now there's some iron bars. So yeah, just go across the iron bars, and we go here, here, here. And just go up, iron bars. Here, some jumps. Here you have this tower you have to climb. So yeah, just go like this. And you go up. And it's now time for, I guess, what you could call the B-side of this tower. So, I don't know if you could call it the B-side when most of the floor is empty. It's more just the A-side over to the other side. So yeah, here if you fall, you die. So watch out. And yeah, there is fence gameplay, but trust me, there's gonna be more than fence gameplay. Or at least I hope. I never actually like play through the whole tower before I do this video, so maybe it turns out that most of it is just fun gameplay. But I mean, what else am I supposed to do when the Jato tower is just filled with tin studs and one studs and stuff like that? Oh, Monksy! Yo, maybe this guy won't instantly leave. There's actually been quite a lot of people today, there was like five times today when there was like three people. So yeah, just go through the fences, up here to the staircase, and over here. And I'm going to exit out and continue over to this campfire section, which hopefully doesn't lag your game out because of the sheer, 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 the big amount of campfires. So yeah, this part was meant to be beat blocks, but look, I want to get this tower out today and this will really change it, whether it's beat blocks or regular blocks. It's not like anyone's going to make it here over Anyway, so here you have some pushers. Like always, you can just cheese them by jumping on top. But yeah, speedrun strats. Look, guys, it's speedrun strats. Oh, 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 speedrun strats. Let's go. What is happening? What is here? What? Hmm, kind of weird. Okay, anyways. Yeah, there, this section has quite a lot of pushers, but thankfully you can skip it. Yeah, then you go over here. And now we are going back out of what you, I guess you could call the B-side. And it's time to climb the windmill. So yeah, this is the windmill. Well, welcome. It's the halfway windmill because it's halfway true and it's a windmill. So yeah, we go up and it says, well, welcome to the halfway windmill. So yeah, if you're here, you're now halfway done with the tower. So good job. I don't know if anybody actually does this. According to the scoreboard, uh, one there is a person who has bet the hardest tower, but I don't know if they're legit. They pl they played when I was offline, which means they probably they watch my videos because like otherwise they wouldn't know like the IP. But just because you watch my videos doesn't mean you're not a hacker. So like I don't know. I hope they're I hope they are legit. I don't want there to be hackers on my server, but I mean who knows? It's not like I have mods on twenty four seven. So yeah, here we have this barrier neo part. I just realized that even though this is challenging, it's actually not that hard. But as I said, while the, the difficulty is never going to be accurate, because unlike Roblox parkour, I'm really not that good at Minecraft parkour. So yeah, one thing that's never going to be accurate is the difficulty. Hopefully you guys don't mind. Here you go across the fences. We jump across the barriers over here and up here. And we are now on, I think, floor 7. Yeah. So yeah, just do some more fence parkour over to here, here, and then here. Here was another section that was meant to be beat blocks, but I mean, really, it's just tr it's tree jumps. It's not gonna change anything. It's been this tower hasn't been out for four months. I don't want to wait another week just for these two sections. So yeah, just come come up on here. Yeah, just do these fence jumps. And here we have, like, the this is, like, the part at the start of the tower, but instead of being one by ones, they're now tree by trees. So, yeah, we go here. And this is a reference to how it took me four months to finish this tower, which is why they've grown so much. Seriously, it took me so long to finish this. So, yeah, now we have these nice birch uh, fences that we get to jump across. Okay, maybe this tower does have quite a few of, of, of fence gameplay. Anyways, jump into the portal, and you're almost there. So yeah, we're almost at the end of the tower. Come on, we can do it. 
we can almost make it to the banana floor. So yeah, we jump up here. And it's now time for a ladder in Neo. I'm pretty sure this is the first one. So if you made it this far, good luck. Because I'm pretty sure this is the first one in the server. And now we're on floor 8. Which the fence has changed again, which I guess is nice. So this part is a little bit of a puzzle. So yeah, it says don't risk it, only do the one block jumps. So you have to only jump where there's one block. So yeah, like here, for example, you see here, there's a, this is not a one block jump, so there's some barriers blocking the way. Or this, this isn't a one block jump, so there's barriers blocking the way. Basically, you just want to take the one block jumps. You, want, you don't want to risk it, or else barriers. So yeah, here, 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 and here. So more fence gameplay, which I guess there is quite a bit of. And then here, just run to the end. Here I'd have this short mega funabi style section. Hopefully if you're this far, you're not going to fail on this section because that would be a bit, that would probably make you a bit angry. And now it's time for the best floor in all of Jato, the tightrope spam floor. So yeah, this floor is very entertaining and it is very creative and overall it's just very fun to go through. So yeah, good luck. There's a few of these, so <laughs> just don't fall. I guess is my tip. These really aren't that hard, but can, they can be a bit annoying. This one's pretty hard. You have to like go to the right and down to the left. Soon is actually the one year anniversary of Jato in Minecraft. So I hope to have the Tent Tower re released, which I'm pretty sure is TOIE. Yes, that's right. First psychologically unsafe tower on the one year anniversary. I feel like a tower like Citadel of Laptop Splitting would be cooler, but I don't know if I can get a Citadel done in like two months, so yeah. Since it's like the start of December that the anniversary is, and I don't think I can get a Citadel done that fast, so yeah. So yeah, I don't know why I rushed that section, here we have a pretty long one. Yeah, this section is pretty annoying in Roblox, so I decided why not also make it annoying in Minecraft. And that is the Tower of Rage. Yep. So yeah. Um, wait. Yeah. Next tower we have on the list is Tower of Impossible Expectations. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe. Hopefully tower TOIE won't take four months to build, but who knows. So remember to like and subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye.